What is up YouTube, NitroKid98 back with another video today. And before we get started, I know you've seen me load coilovers up in the truck, but unfortunately we're not gonna be installing those today. We're waiting on some hardware pieces to come in so we can put those on. I was gonna use this stuff off of the donor car, but I need to get its suspension back on it so I can get wheels back on it, get it up on a trailer in order to haul it off. So unfortunately I was unable to use those parts, which was my plan, I just didn't think thoroughly. <laughs> so, so anyway, as soon as that gets there, we'll get the coilovers on it and get her in the building. But right now we're doing the second most important thing on the list and that's getting the tapped oil pan in. I want to get all that done before I put the engine in the car because it's just so much easier to install an oil pan with it on the stand than it would be with the car. Last time I did it while it was in the car and it was an absolute headache. It wasn't the, heart, the worst thing in the world, but I, I'm going to avoid it because that's I don't want to do that like that again. So anyway guys, let's get over to the shop and let's get started. And real quick for everybody that's wondering where the SRT4 is, she's right here under like three car covers and she hopefully will be back on the YouTube channel in like two weeks. That's, that's what I'm hoping, two weeks. So we're down to the shop now. We're working on getting the drill press set up in order to drill the hole into our oil pan. And today we're gonna to be using a stepper bit in order to do that. And the reason I choose a stepper bit is because it's pretty much like 11 uh, drill bits in one. It's absolutely great. You have 11 different diameters in which you can drill and it deburs as it does it. So I don't have to keep changing out drill bit, drill bit, drill bit. These are what I use when I know I'm gonna be drilling a large diameter hole, which I'm gonna to have to for my bung. It's just so much easier and it deburs as it does it. So it gives you a nice clean hole. And you want a nice clean hole. You don't want a dirty hole. Dirty hole, nah man, you, you just, it's not a good thing. So anyway, before we get doing this, I'm gonna go over a couple things that most people make a mistake with and well, when they go to tap an oil pan. And I'm gonna basically tell you so you don't do it. Number one, make sure the bung that you're gonna be using is steel. A lot of people use the one that comes with their turbo kit, which is 90% of the time it's gonna be aluminum, especially if they order an eBay kit. I had one back here, and I don't know what I did with it. I was gonna show you an aluminum one versus a steel one, which you can imagine what aluminum looks like. We've all seen a tin can. Now, <clears throat> that's the one number one. Number two, a lot of people wonder, you know, wanna, where do, how do I know where to put the bung in my oil pan? What you're going to do is basically if your car holds 4.5 quarts of oil, 5 quarts of oil, what, how, whatever the oil capacity of your car is, take a measuring cup, fill your oil pan up with that amount of quarts. Look how far the water comes up and you want your bung to be just a little bit above where the water comes up. Now I'm not going to be doing this today because I've done many different 428 oil pans and I know exactly where I need to do the bung. And I actually have the blue one down here to go off of if I get confused, which I know I'm not going to because God, I've done at least three of these things already. So we're going to be doing that. And uh, that, that's pretty much just the easiest way to make sure you get it where it needs to be. And the reason that's so important, you don't want the oil going down the drain tube and basically running into where it can't go in the oil pan because it's too low. And uh, it'll back it up into your turbo. It'll get that oil extremely hot from the exhaust gases and it'll coat, which basically it turns into a solid, which will eventually just destroy your turbocharger. Now, whether it's a China charger or a high dollar charger, we don't want any of that to happen. We don't want to be destroying parts. So we went over the two things. Let me go ahead and get everything set up with this guy right here, and then we're gonna start drilling. So before we drill the bung in, I'm gonna show you how to decide what stepper to use. Now basically this outer lip right here, this is the only part we want going into the oil pan. This lip right here, we want sitting against the oil pan. So we only wanna drill it to the diameter of this inner hole. Now what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna put it on the stepper, and it looks like, we're basically gonna try to find out where it is, and it looks like it's gonna be this guy right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna color that, that diameter right there. And when we see that disappear, when well, we know we're where we need to be and we don't need to drill no further, or at least we need to know to, to stop because we're getting close. Let's get the oil pan set up and we'll start drilling. All right, so I kind of got the oil pan marked for where I want to drill for the bump. So let's go ahead and get drilling. that up and then we'll come back and look and see how well the bung fits so we got the oil pan tapped now let's see how well the bung fits put it in there and as you can see it fits like an absolute dream 
pretty much sits there. It doesn't go all the way through. So basically, I like it like that so I don't have to worry about holding it while I go to weld it in. It's just a nice clean fitment. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get everything ready to roll. We're gonna go up here and weld it in. So in order to weld our bung onto the oil pan, we're gonna be using our good old $90 Harbor Freight welder, which for what it is, actually is not a bad welder. You know, there's a lot better out there for 90 bucks. It's pretty damn good. But the problem with it is, is it likes to create a lot of slag. Little, basically little bubbles that pop off your weld. And then it likes to get into the threads of the bung. I learned this the very first time I did it. And then as you put an AN fitting on, it just destroys it. And in a drag car, we take it apart a lot to check this, that, and the other. And you, you wind up having to replace the AN fittings a lot because it just eats them up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm using this aluminum cap to go over the AN fitting or the bunk, and what it's gonna do is protect it from getting slag on the threads. And the good thing about it being aluminum is I cannot weld it to the bunk. So that's why we're doing it that way, just in case you were wondering. So let's get started. Oh, shit. How in the hell? Did it get in my shoe? So they're not no pretty welds by no means, but for a Harbor Freight welder, you're not gonna get an absolute gorgeous weld. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. As long as you don't leak, we're happy. That's pretty much the only thing that we don't want. So let's go ahead and clean this thing up. So here's the finished product. It's not a pretty weld by no means, but then again, with a Harbor Freight welder, I don't know that you really can make a nice clean weld. They like no Miller or nothing like that. Backside. Here's what we're working with. I went ahead and cleaned that up. I still need to take a file and follow that down. So we'll do that here in a minute. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. We've got the oil pan all cleaned out, wiped down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change out the oil pan on this guy back here with this guy right here. So now that everything's off, let's take a look at the bottom end. You know, it's not the healthiest looking bottom end I've seen, but it looks about the same as the other one. So she's got a decent amount of miles on her. You can see, you can see it. But let's get that new wall panel. Bolt number one started. So now she officially has a tapped oil pan. She's ready for a turbocharger. But unfortunately, that's it for this video. I have many more videos coming in the future. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button down there, guys. Drop a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Nitro Kid 98, thanks for watching.